So it happened to be 627. So <clears throat> anyway, long story short, coincidence, synchronicity. Real quick, uh, family. So regardless of what I say, what I think and all of this, I'm still your son. I'm still your grandson. I'm still your cousin. I'm still your uncle and all of these things. But the belief systems that a lot of my family members have been taught so strongly that they would discard me, regardless of how I treat them and my character because I didn't subscribe to the same belief system. I'm leaning on my own understanding. And they're Christians and all about Jesus Christ, Church of Christ and all of this stuff. But an interesting thing, Church of Christ, they don't even know about Christ consciousness. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ nowadays is just damn near like the curse word. But Christ, that's the important thing, the kingdom of God, accessing the divinity that you have within. That's what Christ was talking about, right? Jesus Christ. Christ is a title. So your name could be Christ, Michael Christ, you Christ, activating Christ within, the higher consciousness that's within. That's what they were talking about. That's what he was talking about to the religions of his day that didn't know this. When he was talking about the second birth, he was talking about the internal birth, the spiritual birth, the spiritual rebirth, spiritual awakening, enlightenment. That's what Jesus was talking about. That's what Christ consciousness is about. Not about one character coming down to save other people. That's the religion that they made to keep you from activating your Christ consciousness, right? So there's other people besides Jesus, and we know his name wasn't Jesus because that's a Greek name, Jesus. And if you just study the paper trail of the Bible, you would easily find that out. Most people don't do that. There's a lot of fear regarding hell and all of these things and questioning, but we won't even get into that. But as a family member, as someone that I feel is treating my family fairly, but my sin is leaving the church and questioning these religions and these dogmas that was given to us, uh, beaten into us um, in regurgitated teachings that we originated, but they won't know that unless they look outside of the book. So they'll throw the baby out with the bathwater. That's fine. That just shows how strong the programming is. And I understand that me talking about these things, even though I'm trying to help one another, was irritating to someone that wants to be asleep. I get that. So the journey is not to wake the sleep now. The journey is to collect those that have already begun to awaken and who are awakening to build a network of those people and show an example of that, be an example of the unity that we're talking about. But when you talk about Jesus, you're just talking about someone that activated the Christ consciousness within. So I'm going to simulate that in this reality, and it's going to be the same story that kind of Jesus dealt with back in his day, 2,000 years ago. Jesus was 2,000 years ahead of his time, and you're talking about Christ consciousness now, and you still don't know what he's talking about right? We don't have another 2,000 years to wait. So part of my journey is to help speed up the process of putting Christ consciousness into the collective. And those that are aware of it, we can begin to work together to make some positive, lasting changes in this reality that we can do. The only reason 1% can control 99% is that 99% don't know their value. So that's the reason why they put these saviors and let you worship them and get you to worship them because they can't have a whole bunch of Christ running around here because then they can't have control and you're off the limit. Then you can see through the illusions that they put in front of you. So just one example, just, you know, and this is another thing. What can one person do against family, friends, what seems like the world? But what am I wrong at, right? Where am I false at? And this is my experience, right? And I've laid this out, I've documented this as best as I could, as scientifically as I, as I could. Even the scientists are starting to realize that consciousness is primary to space and time. Same thing as saying we're spiritual beings having a human experience. So where am I wrong? Just because I don't follow a specific belief system that has a paper trail that's built around control doesn't mean that I'm wrong. And I'm willing to be proved wrong. Let's go.